At most cafes in LA, you order a latte or a cappuccino, but at Cat Bay, you can actually go home with a cat. <laughs> Hi, my name is Carlos Wong, and welcome to Cat Bay. This is my kitty dream come true. The four-day pop-up is housed in Chinatown's Far East Plaza, which Wong hopes to make permanent through a $250,000 Kickstarter campaign. You can adopt one of Cat Fay's 30 kitties and learn proper pet care. So why bring a cat cafe to a city known for its obsessive dog culture? LA is very eclectic. It has a lot of different, you know, cultures just thriving here and there. And I know dogs are very uh, welcomed here, but we feel like it's time to uh, kind of bring cats to the spotlight a little more. A sentiment shared by other cat fans. LA has like everything else. Why not a cat cafe? <laughs> I can't have cats right now because uh, I live with roommates. It would be awkward. <laughs> this is an alternative if you get cat withdrawals. <laughs> but Wong says it's not just about petting cats and sipping coffee. We really want to show people what it is to actually understand how cats are. They're very independent, they're very caring and loving. You just have to be in a space with them to be able to see that personality shine. And then you can really bond with them. LA rock band Lolita Dark penned a catchy commercial jingle for the venture that ties in the Asian roots of cat cafes. I love cats but I am severely allergic to cats. Lead singer and guitarist Reiko explains the lyrics. <laughs> nyan nyan is like, you know, like in English it's meow, but in Japanese it's uh, nyan nyan. Once Cat Fay is permanent, Wong's team hopes to work with LA's assisted living facilities to host pro bono therapy nights for the elderly. For more videos, visit LATimes.com and at LATimes on Twitter.